Hey Calvary, great to see you. It's Thursday, March 18th, and this is your update. I'm John. We're looking forward to being with you this weekend. Maybe that's online or perhaps it's at one of our three campuses as we continue our series called Battle Ready, where we're investigating some of the schemes of our adversary, of our enemy, the devil, the way he works behind the scenes and prowls around like a roaring lion. You know, he's an unseen enemy that we're always or sometimes not aware of. It's kind of like this past weekend during our snowstorm. I wonder if any of you like me lost power at your house for a little bit. And you're suddenly aware of this unforeseen power that runs through your walls, that powers your lights, that turns on the TV, that gives you the power you need to function in your home. It was annoying for me to lose power for just about an hour. I couldn't turn on the microwave. I couldn't turn on the stove. I couldn't even watch television. And I became very aware of this unseen power that exists in my house most of the time, electricity. It's kind of like the way that the Bible describes the difference between good and evil. It describes Satan as an unseen power, working behind the scenes and trying to attack us. And we've been trying to learn a little bit more about his schemes so that we might have some strategies to overcome him. Another way the Bible describes this is the difference between light and darkness. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 19, it says, The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. This is a picture of Satan working behind the scenes, causing people to stumble. But alternatively, in verse 18, it says that the path of righteous of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. When I lost power and it was a little bit dark in my house, if, if I was in a dark corner, I had to fire up that little flashlight on my phone. And it's amazing how much that small light can overcome a little bit of darkness. That's what we're praying for. We're praying for you that as we investigate together the schemes of Satan and some strategies to stand firm in the battle, that our light will overcome his darkness. So we hope to see you this Sunday.